हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अर भगवान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिन आर यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेट अस अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन The notion of the dollar being the dominant currency is increasingly seen as a thing of the past. Saddam previously advised Iraqis to hold on to their dinars, suggesting that the dinar would eventually become more valuable than the US dollar. This shift could positively impact many individuals, particularly with the anticipated reinstatement of the dinar. Although it may not benefit everyone, especially those like Iran and certain politicians who have previously exploited the auction system. The introduction of new lower denomination notes featuring advanced security features is expected to be visually appealing. The rack, which ranks as the fifth largest economy in the Arab world and the 52nd globally, is making notable economic progress. The magazine's report highlights Iraq's significant standing in the Arab world, following Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Egypt, and Algeria. The international community is already aware of the upcoming new exchange rate and is both pleased and eager about the changes. Iraq's foreign currency reserves have reached unprecedented levels, and the country has accumulated a substantial gold reserve while advancing its development. The Central Bank of Iraq (CBI) plans to adjust the exchange rate only when it is necessary to enhance purchasing power. The fact that many dinar holders wish for immediate revaluation does not influence the CBI decision. They must act in the best interest of the Iraqi people. Currently, Iraq's fixed exchange rate system is supported by international reserves at an all-time high, with foreign currency reserves exceeding 100% of the total currency ish. Would even reaching into the trillions if Iraq adjusts its exchange rate to a stronger value that truly reflects the country's economic fundamentals. They should face no significant issues. Their model is stable, secure, and has seen minimal inflation, with a track record of successful implementation. In a recent interview, Sadani spoke about ongoing reforms and the state of the economy, asserting that Iraq is stronger than ever and that all projects are on track. He reiterated that the plan to delete zeros from the currency remains under consideration, which is promising news. Sadani's consistent message suggests that the revaluation is imminent. The discussion about a fixed rate versus a floating rate is encouraging. It seems likely they might implement a fixed rate with an upper limit. There is a possibility that this process is already underway and could be completed by the 20th. I'm optimistic about receiving official confirmation soon, which aligns with reports I received from Iraq today. The expectation is that the new rate will be announced shortly after the HCL is finalized. Thank you for watching my video. Take care and goodbye.